friends we'll see some important points in the cement industry these points will help you to find out answers in the multiple choice questions in your university examination what is uh, portland cement uh, the finely ground mixture of calcium silicates and aluminates of various compositions is the portland cement and cement it is a substance when mixed with a small amount of water sets to a hard stone like substance and gets the comprehensive strength as time goes then composition of uh, portland cement uh, there are uh, six constituents which are mainly present in the portland cement and their names their formula and abbreviations are here first dicalcium silicate uh, which has formula 2cao sio2 and abbreviated as c2s then tricalcium silicate 3cao dot sio2 which abbreviates as c3s third one is 3cao dot al203 that is tricalcium aluminate and uh, abbreviated as c3a then tetracalcium aluminate having formula 4co dot al203 symbolized as c4a then fifth one is tetracalcium aluminoferrite having formula 4co dot al203 dot fe2o3 abbreviated as c4af then the sixth one is 2CaO dot Al2O3 dot SiO2 abbreviated as C2AS that is dicalcium alumino silicate. Then uh, compos in composition the typical Portland cement have average composition as that is a CO lime 63.2% uh, then Al2O3 4.86% Fe2O3 3.6%, SiO2 silica 21.3%, MgO 2.9%, SO3 1.8%, and oxides of potassium and uh, sodium 2.3%. Uh, then classification of Portland cement. Uh, there are five classes of Portland cement. Uh, first one is regular or general use Portland cement. Composition is 40 to 60 percent C3S, 10 to 30 percent C2S, and 7 to 13 percent C3A. This cement is used for the general construction, concrete construction, uh, which sets in 28 days. And examples of the cement in this class is white cement, oil well cement, quick setting cement. Type 2 is the moderate heat of hardening and sulfate resisting portland cement it has high c2s to c3s ratio and it has property uh, that is it is sulfate resisting and used for the general concrete construction where moderate heat of hydration is necessary strength uh, gets in the 28 days this cement is used in the massive construction exposed to sea and sulfate water Type 3 is high early strength Portland cement. So this has a higher lime to silica ratio than for type 1, higher percentage of C3S and C3A. Now you know what is C3A that are abbreviations of uh, tricalcium silicate, tricalcium aluminate. So here after we use only abbreviations. This cement have high percentage of these tricalcium silicate and tricalcium aluminate than the regular Portland cement and hence hardens quickly. So this cement is used for the immediate use of construction. Uh, this is not used for the massive structures. Then type 4 is low heat Portland cement. It contains lower percentage of C3S and C3A. So decreases the rate of heat evolution uh, in the use. Uh, by adding a Fe2O3, which forms C4AF decreases the percentage of C3A. 15 to 35 percent low heat is evolved than the regular or high early strength Portland cement. So this uh, cement is used for the dam construction where uh, we want to avoid the cracks. Type 5 sulfate resisting Portland cement. So this contains lower percentage of C3A than the ordinary cement. 
then has a high sulfate resistance. It is good for seawater contact and massive construction. Raw materials for the um, Portland cement. So there are main three raw materials. First one is calcareous material that is rich in calcium. Uh, so some examples are limestone, chalk, cement rock, marl, marine shales and alkali based. The second one is argillaceous material that is rich in silica, clay, slate, shale, blast furnace slag, ashes and cement rock. Then third one is gypsum that is CaSO4 to H2O that is a water of crystallization. This uh, gypsum is added uh, in cement in the clinker treatment for the adjustment of setting rate of the cement. Then uh, there is a proportioning of raw material necessary uh, for uh, characteristic of the Portland cement. Uh, the basic to acidic constituents lies around 2 to 1 proportion. Uh, that uh, is uh, known as a hydraulic modulus. Some uh, constituents and their uh, proportion, how it affects cement property, we will see one by one. Uh, first, lime content. If uh, there is too low lime, then uh, this cement is low in early strength. If lime content is too high, well, we get the unsound cement. Unsound cement means it forms cracks, curls or expands unduly. Then high lime, uh, if it is there in the constituent, then uh, the cement is rapid hardening. Uh, if it is low lime, then strengthens after long time. Silica, alumina, ferric oxide. These constituents uh, will affect in such a way that uh, if uh, there is too high silica, then burning temperature increases, then setting period also increases, that is low setting cement. If silica is too low and alumina and ferric oxide is high, then the cement is quick setting cement. Then uh, other raw materials uh, like uh, magnesia, uh, that is percentage of uh, MgO should be less than 5%. If uh, it is more, then cement becomes unsound in the latter stage. Thus, uh, the percentage of acidic and basic oxides ratio that is percentage of lime to percentage of uh, acidic oxides that is silica plus alumina plus ferric oxide must be between 1.9 to 2.1 and percentage of silica to percentage of alumina ratio should be 2.5 to 4. If uh, there are some constituents may be present or absent what are the effects. Uh, so first is if there is no iron then we get white cement but it is hard to burn then low lime will weak in strength uh, the cement will be weaker in the strength then if it contains excess silica then that cement is low setting cement high lime uh, if it is there the cement expands and cracks after setting and excess of alumina uh, will give quick setting cement then uh, Mn2O3 should be less than 3. If uh, more than 3%, then it imparts brown color to the cement. Then presence of uh, phosphorus pentoxide causes difficulties in burning of the clinker. Manufacturing processes uh, depends upon the uh, physical condition of raw materials, the local factory climate condition and third one is the price of the fuel. There are two processes used for the manufacturing of the cement uh, dry process. When the raw materials are hard crystalline limestone, then slate and natural rock cement found plenty, then this process is used that is dry process. Wet process, when the raw materials are limestone shell, they are crushed separately and water is added to make slurry. This requires a high fuel energy required for the evaporation of water, etc. is more. Uh, that's why it is not in use. Then benefication process. Uh, that is uh, nothing but the dressing of ores. Unwanted materials are removed by this process. 
So there are two uh, cells used for the benefication process. First one is the fatty acid flotation cell that contains the oleic acid or soap and the frothing agent uh, is uh, like uh, synthetic alcohol. In this case, calcarease uh, or rich in calcium and rich in mica is separated uh, in the fatty acid flotation cells that separate these uh, two materials and they are concentrated and used as required. Then the second one is the cationic flotation cell. In this, uh, the cation is used hydrochloride of lauryl amine compound used uh, for the separation uh, the micaceous and um, lime containing uh, raw materials are separated then actual manufacturing process known as the burning operation there are two kilns or uh, furnaces used for the manufacturing first one is the rotary kiln and second one is the modern vertical shaft kiln uh, that is mvsk this modern vertical shaft kiln is used for the small scale plant and in this there is a black mill process which is more popular uh, for the manufacturing of cement the clinker formation takes place actually in this furnaces zones are in the rotary kiln so three zones first one is uh, dry zone that is water evaporation zone which has a temperature 750 degrees celsius uh, then the second one is the calcining zone or decomposition zone having temperature 1000 degrees celsius and third one is the hottest zone or it is a sintering zone where cement formation takes place finally so it is also called as cement formation zone having temperature 1400 degrees celsius and the product form that is known as clinker that is the cement balls or some sticks like structure in these uh, zones different reaction takes place and we get actual first in the drying zone water free water is evaporated up to 100 degrees celsius and then combined water up to 750 degrees celsius and we get formation of water free or combined water is freed from the raw materials or the compounds used for the formation of cement in calcining zone or decomposition zone uh, these uh, lime and different carbonates are used so they are converted into their corresponding oxides in the decomposition zone in the hottest zone actual silicates form the calcium silicate and all these reactions are taking place and formation of uh, actual cement that is the clinker then the formed clinker is treated uh, by different uh, steps that is known as treatment of clinker first clinker is cooled in the rotary uh, cooler that process is known as cooling process the addition of retarder is uh, second step in the treatment that is uh, we know the gypsum is added as a retarder for the adjustment of setting time of the cement then grinding packaging clinker in the round ball or stick form grind in the different mills ball mill and other mills and formed in the fine powder form then sent for the storage and packing so you know the bags used for the packaging so it should not absorb moisture so cement will be stored in the proper condition storage must be also moisture free our uh, next is setting and hardening of cement so uh, at the time of use you know we add uh, water in the cement and or uh, that is converted into solid mass and uh, it becomes uh, hard tough and resistant to pressure and this process is known as setting of cement an abnormal type of set or immature stiffening no appreciate heat is evolved that is known as false set and if we remix that without addition of water it resumes its plasticity and can be used in a usable manner hardening of cement that is the further progression of chemical reactions involved in setting for getting the strength and durability so that is the hardening so for that we require more time in the process that is up to two years complete hardening takes place then uh, what is reinforced concrete 
uh, so it is also known as ferro concrete structure consisting of combination of concrete and metal means both are acting as one stronger and more durable structure we obtain by using this concrete and metal uh, they withstand for the stresses and prevent corrosion and decay we know that concrete is inert material and metal can be uh, decay and corrosion may take place so this concrete prevents that processes and we get more uh, stable and durable structures having more strength so that is reinforced concrete or ferro concrete now we'll see some uh, mcqs uh, based on these all the points i have discussed first one when the ratio of C2S to C3S is higher, the cement, uh, right option is B, has a sulfate resisting action. Second question is calcium aluminate cement is also called. Uh, option is A, high alumina cement. Then third question is C3A is uh, the formula of 3CO dot Al2O3 that is tricalcium aluminate. Then fourth one is dicalcium aluminosilicate is written as C2As that is the option D. Fifth question, the proportion of raw material in Portland cement is that is percentage of calcium divided by percentage of SiO2 plus Al2O3 plus Fe2O3 all in percentage should be A option that is between uh, 1.9 to 2.1. Then sixth question, following operation is done in the rotary kiln, that is D option, burning operation, means formation of cement. Then question seven, cement powder when mixed with water is converted to a solid mass and this is called setting of cement. Thank you for watching. Share this video with your friends and subscribe for more videos.